keys and them kicks. Hey, what up, y'all? It's Young Rick, and welcome to West Side Level. Today, we're going to get into a very, I would say, secret topic that not too many people talk about. We're going to get into how to freeze your tracks. Now, what is freezing your tracks, and why would you want to freeze your tracks? Well, let's start off by identifying why you would want to freeze your tracks. If we look at the bottom of this session right here, we'll notice that we have around 13 plugins engaged right now. And having those 13 plugins engaged on these tracks, um, we need them engaged because they're doing our processing, but it's taking a lot of our CPU. And look what starts to happen when I want to start adding plugins on the other side of the session. Let's just hypothetically turn all of the, let's turn on some of our mastering processing. Now it's already jumped up to, uh, 30, 40, before we're not even playing anything. Let's play some music. Bricks on them keys and them kicks. Don't, don't, don't throw that pass, it's getting picked off. I ain't trying to buy a deuce with the brick cross. I mean, it's been acting up, I know they pick. Now, if this CPU usage gets too much, it's going to start, the program is going to start to snap, crackle, pop, and you're not going to be able to really, uh, work the way you want to it's not going to be a pleasant experience so to get rid of all of this headache we're going to freeze our tracks so to start off by freezing our tracks what we're going to do is arm all the tracks that we did our processing on let me turn these plugins back off real quick so all we did our all we did just to review was gain stage our tracks and we leveled our uh vocals to our beat so the only thing that has processing on it is our beats and our vocals so let's arm everything that we processed our beats and our vocals by clicking the record button on the bottom then i'm going to go to this arrow right here go to disc recording go to render armed tracks to wave files and then we're going to go ahead and pick 24 bit and start And what this is going to do while these tracks are rendering is they're going to basically record all of the processing that we did to our vocals and our beat. That way we can completely turn off all of the plugins and you'll be able to see that right now. Okay, so now we can unarm our tracks. And we can even unarm all of our plugins. Yeah, we're on the playlist, making sure everything is in its proper place. All right. So now that we see that everything on our playlist is in its proper place, we're going to go to our channel rack. Um, and we're going to start with this first uh, black audio track because these aren't uh, assigned to our mixer yet we're just going to highlight all uh, starting with the first one we're going to highlight it go to the black one the first black track on our mixer insert 10 route starting with this track now we can undo all of our panning and now we have a session <clears throat> Sorry about that. And now we have a session to where our plugins have done the processing and it's already recorded and they're completely off. So we can have we have a lot more room and a lot more free CPU to turn on plugins when we start doing uh, processing on this side of the session. All right. So that was the tutorial for today. Leave a like and a uh, comment in the comment section if you have any questions. Subscribe and let's get to the money. Y'all be smooth. Gone.